Hello, fellow Columbans. Every year, Lent begins with reminders about how we tend to go astray from the ways of God as we recommit ourselves to living as people made in God's image. In psalms and prayers, we offer regret about the ways we fall short in our love for God and our neighbors. Recently, I joined with parishioners in our Lenten study group in turning from thoughts about living at a distance from God to a psalm that reminds us of God's determination to be close to us, even when we seem to drift away. Psalm 139 offers vivid reassurance that we never live beyond the reach of the light and love of God. The psalmist declares, Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journeys and my resting places and are acquainted with all my ways. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful and I know it well. The psalm is precious to me as a reminder that no matter how far my thoughts and actions seem to take me away from God, and no matter how small or futile or flawed my life might sometimes seem to me, God never ceases to embrace me as a precious part of creation. As our group talked about what these verses mean to us, a few members mentioned the book The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown. This beloved children's story seems to be inspired by Psalm 139. As you may know, it tells of an independent-minded rabbit who resolves to get far away from his mother and his mother's determination to find him and keep him close. If you run after me, the bunny says, I will become a fish, and I will swim away from you. His mother replies, If you become a fish, I will become a fisherman, and I will fish for you. If you become a fisherman, says the bunny, I will become a rock on the mountain high above you. In that case, his mother says, I will become a mountain climber, and I will climb to where you are. The story goes on to recount the wandering bunny's failed strategies for evading his vigilant mother, just as the speaker of Psalm 139 exclaims over the impossibility of outrunning God, despite our attempts to elude God's loving attention. Where can I go then from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand will lead me. While I'd heard of the runaway bunny, I never actually read it or thought about how it relates to faith. I love the way that illustrates both our tendency to stray from God and God's insistent readiness to stay in relationship with us as beloved children. Like the bunny on the run, we can put on various disguises and apply our energies in ways that seem to distance us from God. But like the endlessly resourceful mother rabbit, God knows and values us for who we are, not who we pretend to be or who others might judge us to be, and will always reappear in our lives, turning up in unexpected places. When the bunny imagines becoming a bird that flies away, his mother vows to become the tree he'll come home to. Both the story and the psalm end on notes of acceptance and celebration of the gift of living in the love of a persistent, guiding presence that is greater than we are. The psalmist declares, Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my restless thoughts, and lead me in the way that is everlasting. The bunny finally says, shucks, I might just as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. To which his mother replies, without judgment or questions, have a carrot. I'm grateful for the reminder that no matter how many times I drift away from our patient, watchful, loving, and forgiving God, I'm embraced in God's family. And like the bunny, offered that life-sustaining carrot 
blessings that fill me and equip me to go forth to live God's love. And so for the psalm and for the story and for all the lessons Lent has yet to teach us, thanks be to God.